a question which is uh, which will have uh, two nodes or two tensions actually on the near. So how we can solve this problem uh, using parallelogram rule for vector addition and applying some scalar component. Uh, uh, let me read the question. Uh, it says that determine uh, the resultant R of the two forces shown by shown as shown as shown on the figure here. The figure is here. So one force is acting in the opposite x direction for 100 newton and uh, one node is inclined by 60 degree here we have 60 degree uh, we have 600 600 newton load so how we can determine this uh, for these two loads how we can determine or how we can solve result that R this means R we are asked to calculate R or resultant force B means resultant force resultant force for this one and this one so how we can solve using parallel number? Let me show the method for the way how we can solve or how we can use parallel number if we have if we have two loads. Here this is load A, load A or vector A, vector addition, using vector addition. This one is B vector B. So we have here and we take out as from the name parallelogram we can uh, construct or draw parallelogram for these vectors. So for this parallel we can draw parallel lines from this point and we can draw for this also parallel line here so I can construct the parallelogram graph for these two vectors, we have resultant vectors is drawn between vector A and the vector B. Vector B. So I can draw here it is. This is the resultant. Uh, let me say R. How we can solve R? So let me extend this vector B line. I can extend and we can draw from here to downward. We create the right angle triangle here. Right angle triangle.
they have a force of inspiration, we have Richard here, so they have a force of draw from the origin to the end point. So this becomes R. This R becomes 120 degrees. So from this A becomes R is equal to, we said that A, this one is A, then we said this one is A, this one is B, and theta, between theta, between the vector, we have 120 degrees. Theta, so theta is not this one. Theta is not using this one. You can use uh, the angle between two vectors, 400 meters and the 600 meters, 120, it becomes, I can use theta. So A equals to 400 meters, B equals to 600 meters, and theta equals to 120 degrees. So let's draw the two of 400 meters for the plus 600 meters for the plus plus of 400 times 600 plus 120 degrees. We can put the unit Newton here. Then we can put the other force. So, from the, uh, when we can measure this value, uh, then the calculator we can find the exact one. Uh, R is equal to 539.15 Newton. So, from the unit. Now we can apply the parallel rule for vector addition. Then the next question is applying sine scalar components. So let me create this one and we can do that. B. Cross 61 over 2, so 
plus 100 becomes negative 100. Negative 100, negative. The other one, 600 Newton times uh, sun, 60 degree. It is positive. So for these two forces, we can find the resultant force. Okay. Arrow of x becomes negative. And arrow of y. X becomes negative in this direction. If I have origin here, then I sign this is origin. So the resultant becomes for these two forces, this one is R of Y, this one is R of X. For this force, the resultant becomes if I draw from origin to the end of the battle. This becomes a horizontal. So we found right angle triangle, so we can use Pythagoras theorem to determine the resultant force R. R is equal to 2 plus 3. R is equal to 2 for this, R is equal to the square root 2. Rx is square plus Ry square. So this is equal to 2. 100 Newton for the square plus when it means when we square the negative number it becomes positive and 5109.6 Newton for the square so the answer it becomes 529 So, this is all about the questions related with this thing, this application. This is engineering mechanics one, or it is, a, it is also called st statics.